Okay, we're checking out Jojo Rabbit. And I've been told that it's a World War II comedy, so that sounds interesting. I'm curious, very curious. Ooh, so stylish. Jojo Betzla, 10 years old. Today, you join the ranks of the Univoc in a very special training weekend. He's so cute. It's going to be intense, but today, you become a man. <laughs> He's so sweet. I swear to devote all my energies and my strength to the savior of our country, Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Oh, God. Jojo Betzler, what is your soul? A German soul. Yeah, man, you're ready. <laughs> yeah, man. Adolf? Hmm? I don't think I can do this. Of course you can. You're still the bestest, most loyal little Nazi I've ever met. <laughs> Not to mention the fact you're really good looking. <laughs> Just imagining this conversation with Hitler, oh my god. Heil me, man. Heil Hitler. You can heil me better than that. <laughs> heil Hitler. That's not a heil. This is a heil. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Ooh, heil Hitler. that's it, you got heil it. Heil Hitler. Hitler. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Great song. Whoa! in German? You know, I've never given a ton of thought to the kids in Germany at this time. Just that I feel terrible for them. All of them. Oh my god, they're so cute. Let's go! I wonder if this is gonna get gruesome. Ooh, Sam Rockwell's in this. I usually find Sam Rockwell either really sexy or really gross. It's a toss-up. Which I guess means he's a good actor. I like the colors. Very yellow. Jojo Rabbit. <laughs> there he is. There's something funny about just eating an apple at inappropriate times, like under a swastika. Hey, Hitler guys. <laughs> well, Hitler guys. <laughs> Welcome to the Hitler Yoga training oh, weekend, frick. in which we will make men and women of you all. They're so excited. You may call me Captain K. Captain K! Woo! <laughs> And this is Sub Officer Finkel. This is Fräulein Rahm. Hey, had Hitler for fun. <laughs> Since Operation Screw Up, I lost a perfectly good eye. And according to my superiors, you need two eyes to be a meaningful part of the war effort. Can two eyed people do this? I love the editing in this so much. And even though it would appear our country's on the back foot and there really isn't much hope in us winning this war, apparently we're doing just fine. Those kids are so cute. Anyway, <laughs> you boys anyway. have all been issued with your Deutsches Young Folk Daggers. These are very special and expensive weapons. And don't try to stab each other. No stabbing! <laughs> Today, you boys will be involved in such activities as marching, bayonet drills, grenade throwing, four games, firing guns, and blowing stuff up. And blowing stuff up. Okay. Important womanly duties, such as dressing wounds, making beds, and learning how to get pregnant. I've had 18 <laughs> kids for Germany. <laughs> This is one of those movies that, like, you feel bad, but it's hilarious. You feel bad for laughing, but you can't help it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love this already. It's, like, absurd. <laughs> Once upon a time, a Jewish man mated with a fish. Aryans are 1,000 times fenced than any other race. I feel bad for the kids that were like brainwashed. Frig. Just burning books. But I mean, they're having a great time. Oh god. <laughs> Only the grown-ups really realize how evil this is. Or do they even? This is beautiful so far. Look at this shot. That's freaking beautiful. You sound scary, huh? Not to me. If I met one, I'd kill it like that. That. Just trying to stop. Imagine catching one and giving it to Hitler. Then we would become best friends. I thought I was your best friend. Oh my god. First place of reserve for the Führer. So unless you're Hitler hiding in a fat little boy's body, I'd be happy with second place. These two are so sweet, but like saying the most crazy stuff. We want hardened warriors. Those that are prepared to kill at will. Can you do this? Yes. yes. It's bananas that the kids really went to camps like this. Can you kill? Uh, of course. No, he can't. Don't be scared. Come on. Good. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Kill it. No, 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 no. Bring its neck and kill the rabbit. Kill. 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 He can't do it, can he? Kill. He's trying. Kill. Kill. Like heartbeat. <gasps> no, no, no. 
Oh, wow. You are a coward, just like your father. He's fighting in Italy. Really? But no one has heard from him in two years. You're as scared as a little rabbit. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jojo Rabbit. Oh, Jojo Rabbit! Poor kid. Jojo Rabbit! <laughs> Poor Jojo. What's wrong, little man? <laughs> Frig! <gasps> now they call me a scared rabbit. People used to say a lot of nasty things about me. Oh, this guy's a lunatic. He's gonna get us all killed. <laughs> Frig! The rabbit is no coward. My empire will be full of all animals. Rhinoceroses, octopuses, rhinoctopuses. Rhinoctopuses. <laughs> be the rabbit. The humble bunny can outwit all of his enemies. Be the rabbit. Jojo! Just an imaginary Hitler friend, you know? Jojo, where are you going? To be the rabbit! Hey, this is amazing! We're like two human antelopes! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he ever realizes that he's not a cool guy. Like, idolizes him. <laughs> Hitler through the mind of a child, right? Like, a, just a goofy, cool dude. Shit! Uh -oh. Shit! Oh, jeez! Is he alright? <laughs> Oh boy, okay. It looks like a Picasso painting. Is he right? His <laughs> mother's going to kill me. Oh, this seems bad. My darling, come. Oh, he's all scarred up. Oh, poor guy. At least you didn't lose your eye. Sheesh. Hey, kid. Scar Joe! Mama Lion worries about her cub, especially when Papa Lion isn't here. Mama Lion. I don't want to go out there. I look stupid. Enjoy the attention, kid. <laughs> Not everyone's lucky enough to look stupid. I, for one, am cursed to look incredibly attractive. I love the costumes. Hell, Hitler! She's a Hey! Ravesla, you're looking fetching. Oh! <laughs> Stole the angry lane. Just took. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you are going to look after him while I'm at work? Guys, this is Johannes Betzler. Remember, he stole a hand grenade and blew himself up. <laughs> that girl. Now I get to work in this office with all these wonderful kids. We need somebody to walk the clones. The clones! <laughs> he could hand out some new propaganda and deliver these conscriptions. <laughs> yeah, yes, I give my full permission for you to send this 10 year old child into war. Or someone get this kid a gun. Okay, he has the conscriptions and here is a gun. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> She's awesome. Oh, frick. Oh, Jesus. Yuck. Look. I can't believe a kid has to see this. What do they do? What they could. Come on. Oh, wait. Bill Marshall Jojo's home. Mama? They say his dad went to war and then deserted. Mama? Mama? This music. Did he have a sister? Is it a door? <coughs> Secret door. Oh. Oh. oh god. Hi. Ah! She's hiding in there? Oh, this music! <laughs> oh, this is freaky. What? Oh, okay, be careful. Jeez. That's creepy. What do you want? Are you a ghost? Sure. A ghost. <laughs> he probably does think she's a ghost. Hello. Okay. Don't make me run, kid. He does have imaginary friends. Lose something. You know what I am? No? Yes. Say it. A Jew. Isn't that? You can't be here. Well, your mother invited me. Mother's hiding her. Of course. Go on then, tell them. But you know what happens if you do? I'll do the world a great big favor and cut your Nazi head off. Don't hurt him, but also I don't want him to tell anyone. I think I'll hold on to this. 
It's pretty. So the mom's hiding her. Maybe she just sent the kid to camp just like for appearances to keep them safe. That was intense. What am I going to do? Honestly, no idea. How did she get control like that? She must have used her powers. Mind control. Oh, typical. <laughs> I'm definitely in a pickle, my friend. Uh, what to do? What to do? I've been negotiating. Burn down the house and blame Winston Churchill. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about Hitler from a kid's perspective. Excuse me, Jew girl on the wall. <laughs> you, Jew. <laughs> I'm not scared of you, and I think you should find somewhere else to live, okay? Not okay. <laughs> She's pretty rude, you know. And now she's got two knives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How are you going to chop up stuff? <laughs> oh, and she's still up there too, that... that Jew! Yeah, Jew, yeah. He's just saying everything that the kid's thinking. I love it. You could use it to your advantage. How? Yeah, how? Remember last year when that one-armed pirate von Stauffenberg tried to blow me up? Yeah, you survived. Correcto mundo. Correcto mundo. <laughs> Make her feel safe and then she'll drop her guard and then you will be the one in control. Just use my backwards mind power trick and everything will be fine. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta go. We're having unicorn for dinner at my place tonight. <laughs> and don't give her any more knives. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, this kid is very sweet at heart, I think, and I wonder if he'll tell his mom. <laughs> They're sweet together. I heard her. What? Who? Inya, her ghost. That's so sad for you. You've lost your mind. It's sad for me, though, because I believe with a crazy person. <laughs> she's awesome. You know what I heard? Rats. Yes, we have them. Can you believe that? So she's not going to talk to the kid about it either because they could get caught. I'll watch out for those dirty rats. Where are all the goddamn knives? <laughs> I think he gave her the chance to tell the truth that he sees now. She just doesn't want a secret out. Are you going to bed too? I have to tidy some things first. What things? Boy, you have to trust me, okay? I'm the boss here, yeah? She's a good mom. Good boy. Yes, but with, with one eye. Almost. They're so sweet. You have to be more quiet. He has noises up here. If I have to choose between you and my son, I... Yeah. I feel so bad for everyone here. He can't know. If he knows, then they know. He's a fanatic. It took him three weeks to get over the fact that his grandfather was not blonde. She really thinks he's a fanatic. Hope that your only remaining child is not just another ghost. I absorb ghosts now. We just don't know it. You've lived more lifetimes than most. Yeah, what happened to her family? I haven't lived at all. They didn't get you yesterday or today. You make tomorrow the same. It's so insane that this kind of thing happened. It's just so crazy. I think he's a good kid, but he does seem, he, he's all brainwashed. <laughs> so ridiculous. Jesus Christ! You must <laughs> stretch. Soon your leg will only be a little bit deformed and pointless. <laughs> Maybe I have to go, huh? I like her shoes. See you at home. Mm. Hi, Captain K. Hey. What are you guys doing? I'm being made to teach the HJ boys water warfare training. Can I ask you a question about Jews? With the kiss. What should I do if I see one? You tell us. We tell the Gestapo, and they tell the SS, and then they go and they kill the Jew. And anyone who helped the Jew. Even if the Jew hypnotized someone to make them hide the Jew in the first place. He's worried about his mom. Be amazed if that could happen. No, it can happen. <laughs> <laughs> it happened to my uncle. A Jew hypnotized him and he became a massive drunk and a gambler and he cheated on his wife and then he drowned. It was the Jew's fault. <laughs> oh, frick. Did you see one? A Jew? I'm not sure I'd be able to tell if I did. Frinky. Meanwhile, they're all drowned. This kid is conflicted. <laughs> Scared her well. She has all the knives. I have some conditions for allowing you to stay here. Tell me everything about the Jewish race. <laughs> We're like you, but human. Kindly refrain from sitting on my sister's bed. Why? Inga and I were friends. I remember you. She was friends with his sister. Oh. Start telling me about your kind. Obviously, we are demons who love money. I hope this can humanize them for him. We're also allergic to food. Cheese, bread, meat. That stuff will kill us instantly. Also biscuits. Lethal. She's so sweet. He probably will. Anyway, there's not enough food for you, so I don't know what you're going to do. Your mother managed to find me some bread. She's kind. She treats me like a person. But you're not. Are you? How dare you, Jew? You are weak. I am born of Aryan ancestry. My blood is the color of a pure red rose. Jeez. Freak, 
free. There are no weak Jews. We're chosen by God. A stronger race, huh? So, how's it all going with that Jew thing upstairs? She doesn't want to talk to me. Mm-hmm. Well, you are a Nazi. <laughs> this book is going to be harder to write than I thought. She's trying to write the book, I see. What's she doing? She's burning something. What is she burning? What are you burning? She can't hear you. <laughs> Why so happy? The Allies have taken Italy, France will be next, and soon the war will be over. God damn it! Why does that make you happy? No more politics. Dinner is neutral ground. This table is Switzerland. <laughs> it would be so hard to be a mom like this and have your kid being brainwashed, man. You aren't eating. No, I am not that hungry. For now, I'm just going to chew on these grapes. Well, she's so sweet. I'm especially hungry tonight, so maybe I'll just finish yours. Don't want it to go to waste. She wants to give it to the girl. <laughs> ah, the glare. How was your day, Johannes? Just wandered around being a deformed kid with nothing to live for. My face looks like a goddamn street map, woman. Woman. If my father were here, he'd get it. And instead, I'm stuck with you. He doesn't know how lucky he is. You want to dare, eh? Yeah, I do. Yeah? Yeah! Fine. Don't you ever talk to your goddamn mother like that? That's probably as mean as she gets. I yelled at the kid. What? Go apologize. Sorry, kid. I know you miss me. I'm out there trying to make a difference in the world. And while I'm gone, I need you to take care of my Rosie. She's doing what she can. She is doing what she can. She's a sweet lady. Mm. It reminds me of dancing with Rosie in the red salon. You remember, honey? Was oh, that the babe? <laughs> And so playful. <laughs> Come, dance with your parents. Come. Just dancing together. This is very sweet. He's lucky he has a mom like that in this time, especially, that will like play and dance with him in the middle of all of this. I feel like he's going to warm to this girl. I'd like you to draw a picture of where Jews live. Why are you hanging around with me? Don't you have any friends? Of course. Yorkie, amongst others. Well, you don't have anyone. I have Nathan, my fiance, fighting in the resistance. Now done like a proper gentleman, recited a poem by Rilke. I hope he's all right. We danced into the night. No. He's <laughs> coming to rescue me, then we'll go live in Paris. You turn your back on Germany forever? You turned on me first. Well, we don't need you. No, not just because you don't have a girlfriend. I'm way too busy for a girlfriend. <laughs> One day you'll make time. You'll think of nothing else. Let's laugh. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. I said to draw where Jews live. This is just a stupid picture of my head. Yeah, that's where we live. She's good. Hope nothing oh happens God. to this girl. Raina Maria Wilka? Yes. Yeah, this is a really good idea what we're doing right now. What is he doing? Is he writing this as the boyfriend, the fiance? I came across an old letter from Nathan, your fiance. She's she's not gonna Dear Elsa, I don't want to marry you anymore. I found a new woman. It's like my favorite poet really says. We need in love to practice only this, letting each other go. <laughs> <laughs> She's not gonna buy this. I was lying and unemployed and quite fat now. That's cruel of him to do. <laughs> I'm unemployed and quite fat now. Don't open the door, but I actually forgot there was a second letter. Oh my god, what? You gonna take it back? I just wanted to let you know that I don't want to break up with you now. I changed my mind because I don't want you to keep yourself over me, which a couple of girls have done in the past, and it's pretty stressful. <laughs> and let's still get married sometime, even though I am truly unemployed and have nothing going on for me. He's a good kid at heart. Very convincing letter. Beethoven, Einstein, Bach, Gershwin, <laughs> Brahms, Houdini. <laughs> if you find any more of those letters, will you let me know? Sure. Okay. They're going to be friends. Good. This is good for the kid. Someday you'll meet someone special. Why does everyone keep telling me that? <laughs> Love is the strongest thing in the world. I think you'll find that metal is the strongest thing in the world. <laughs> Followed closely by dynamite and then muscles. Muscles? Oh my god. Oh, Cho Cho. You'll know when it happens. What the? What's wrong with you? Are you drunk? Again? <laughs> I hope I can be like that with a kid if I have one. Come and get you tomorrow. Okay, how about no, that? No, mama, mama, mama! You figure it out, darling. 
Like she's kind of a shit as a mom and I love it. 10 year old shouldn't be celebrating war. Life is a gift. We have to dance to show God we are grateful. Dancing for people who don't have a job. <laughs> Dancing for people who are free. You must dance. Look, I've come to talk. Seems like it's right near the end of the war. She keeps saying that the Allies are winning. No news from Nathan today, I'm afraid. He's probably doing something amazing, like reading a book, growing a beard. <laughs> so sassy. You want me to tell you about the Jews? In the beginning, we used to live in caves. They love strange and wonderful creatures, all with one thing in common. Stealing the ends of penises. <laughs> the love of heart. No cutting penises off. I know it's true. The penis thing. Rabbis use them for earplugs. Ew. He's heard a lot of things. We slowly moved out of the caves and into the towns. Some of us stayed in the caves, though, in our normal body. But I'll draw them for you. She is a good, uh, a good artist. Oh, I think he likes her. It'd be better with color. Where's the horns? Under the hair. Where's yours? I'm too young. They grow when you turn 21. Oh. She's funny. She doesn't try to tell him he's wrong. And another thing is we can read each other's minds. Oh, my God. And we're all so attracted to shiny things. But also ugly things. Jews love ugliness. He's slowly realizing he's wrong, but she's not saying it outright. <sighs> Listen, Jojo, can I give you some really good advice? Some really good advice. Do not let your German brain be bossed around! This is him talking to himself. I think you've got a lot of good information in your book. It's time to show it to the world, don't you think? Yeah. So you gonna get in trouble? Do you think I'm ugly? Yes. <laughs> He likes her. He likes Elsa. Is he going to get in trouble for his book? Is they're going to say, where, where are you learning all these Jewish facts? He's different. He suspects something. He thinks Inga's ghost lives up here. Will she tell her the truth? You remind me of her. Uh, you really do. I would love to have seen her grow into a woman, but I'll, I'll have to watch you instead. I wonder how her daughter died. I don't know anything about being a woman. Is that what it is? You do things like drink wine. Sure, you, you drink champagne if you're happy. Champagne, even in this movie. How do you do that? How do you know you can trust someone? You trust them. Good night. What happened to her family? They were just taken. This movie's making me feel all kinds of things. Finkel, I meant we'd need dogs for when the city is attacked, not actual German shepherds. <laughs> I'm sorry for yelling at you. That's so stupid. No, no, it's a silly name for a dog. They're doing a great job. Thank you. Are they lovers? You know, I'm preparing the city for imminent invasion, right? I'm trying to plan a defense strategy. So the allies are about to invade Germany. Well, I am learning a lot about Jews. Did you know Jews can read each other's minds? Mm. And when they... <laughs> that girl. <laughs> I'm writing a book. Oh, congratulations. What's it called? You Who Jew. It's an expose on Jews. <laughs> you Who Jew. As part of our preparations for the invasion, I'm redesigning my uniform. The feathers for aerodynamics, <laughs> the sparkly color to dazzle the enemy. <laughs> Nazis just sitting there collaring. What jobs do you have for me today? <laughs> Metal for Hitler! Pots and pans with a war effort! <laughs> what is she doing? Is that one of the papers that she burned? Free Germany. Toto? <laughs> you okay? Hey! Look at that gun on him. He's so tiny. Oh my god. You're a soldier now? At your surface. But you're only a left. I know. <laughs> He's so cute. I caught a Jew. Oh, a Jew. I saw some that they caught hiding in the forest last month. They weren't at all scary and it seemed kind of normal. Oh, I'm getting distracted. I got to go. Like, is this kid really killing anyone? I found these. You can have them. They're probably broken. He brought her pencils. Maybe you can draw something for my book. He likes her. If I draw you again? No one wants to see pictures of cripples. I'll be one of those guys who never get to kiss a girl. Do you want me to kiss you? Does he want to kiss her? It's illegal for Nazis and Jews to hang out like we do, let alone kiss. You're not a Nazi. No, he's not like them. You're a 10 year old kid who likes fasticas and likes dressing up in a funny uniform and wants to be part of a club. Yeah. But you are not one of them. This girl's very wise. What a dirty Jew. He's guarding the door while she takes a bath. He's good like his mom. He has butterflies. I love that animation. Oh god, oh god. Heil <gasps> Hitler, I am Captain Hermann Diaz of the Falkenheim Gestapo. Oh frig, they're not gonna find this girl, are they? May we come in? Thank you so much. Oh no, the Gestapo? Oh god, they're searching the house. Oh frig. Hey, Georgia! 
Captain Klinsendorf. Hej, Hitler. Hej, Hitler. Hej, Hitler. Hej, Hitler. Hej, Hitler. Hej, Hitler. En offentlig finkel. Hej, Hitler. Hej, Hitler. Hej, Hitler. Hej, Hitler. Hej, Hitler. Hej, Hitler. I never thought I would laugh at a Heil. This movie's brilliant. Now, this is my kind of little boy's bedroom. You and your friends may have heard a rumor that Hitler only has one ball. This is nonsense. He has four. <laughs> Did Hitler only have one ball? What on earth are those elves up to? Do they find Why the door? Why don't we go upstairs and see, yes? They should put a carpet over that line with the door. Oh no. Do you know where your mother is? I think she's in town. Has she been spending much time at home? Is she in trouble? Well, I'm pleased to see that you're wearing your Jugend uniform, but where is your knife? It's here. <gasps> oh no. What are you doing in my house? You live here too. I'm his sister, Inga. Hey, Hitler. Will she? She'll do it. Hi, Hitler. Hi, Hitler. Hi, Hitler. Hi, Hitler. Hi, Hitler. Hi, Hitler. Oh, God. <sighs> Why do you have his knife? I'm guarding my room because he refuses to stay out of it. Oh, what do you have hidden in there? Girl stuff. There? Naturally. Oh, my God. He's as worried as I am. I don't suppose I could see your papers, could I? Does she have papers? Oh, no. Papers, Miss Betzler. Quickly, please. We don't have all day. Of course. If the daughter died before papers were a thing. How old are you in this photo? She doesn't look that much like her. They're three years old. I was 14. Days of birth. First of May, 1929. Correct. Wait, what is this? Oh, crap. The kid's book. Tell me, who did this? I did. <laughs> Guys, you have to see this. <laughs> <laughs> this one here. That other guy looks worried for them, for these kids. What is this? Die, Nathan, die. Ways of killing Nathan. The kid drew this. It reminds me, we must get back and remember because we left that guy hanging up. Oh, yeah. So do you. If you see anything suspicious, give us a ring. Nice to meet you, Inga. Is he on to them? Look after your family. Look after this knife. That was too close, man. May 7th. What? She was born on the 7th, not the 1st. The guy didn't say anything. He was helping us. Mm-hmm. They'll be back. Nobody really knows Inga died. You could be her. You call yourself a patriot, yet where is the evidence? Is he gonna tell him to shut up? It is up to you to decide if you want to be remembered or disappear without a trace. To put it plainly. Get your shit together and sort out your priorities. I wonder what I would have thought as a 10-year-old kid in his position. I'd like to think I would be strong enough to stand up to the brainwashing, but I don't know. He's such a sweet kid, just following a butterfly. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Frig. <laughs> So they're just like on their own now. What the frig? It's a kind of killer. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's not her fault, man. This poor kid. <laughs> I can't believe that. Did you know? She didn't tell me much. You worked with her friends and your father was somehow involved from afar. No, he's fighting in the war. She That's didn't good. want to tell you anything for obvious reasons. Is this the allies invading? They're so close. Because I'm a Nazi. She didn't want you to know anything that could get you in trouble. Yes. But now I have nothing. I can't believe she's dead. The last time I saw my parents was at the station. They were put on a train. I ran. My parents went to a place you don't come back from. They only have each other now. What's the first thing you'll do when you're free? Dance. <laughs> These poor kids. Everybody's gotta live. <sighs> and everybody's gonna die. Good but when I have you in my arms, baby. Everybody's gotta live. Jesus, unicorn. Yeah, how are they gonna live? That's when I stopped and I took another look at my baby. I'm so glad they have each other. Everybody's gotta live before you know the reason why. Yeah. What happens to this kid and this girl? They better be okay. What did happen to 
like kids who were in the Nazi party, though. You okay? Jesus. You can't give kids a bunch of weapons. What's going on out here? The Russians, Chocho, and the Americans from the other way, and England and China. The whole world is coming. Are these kids going to get killed? I'm only friends with the Japanese, and just between you and me, they don't look very Aryan. <laughs> and now Hitler's gone. We're really on our own. He gave up and blew his brains out. Turns out he was hiding a lot of stuff from us. I'm not sure it shows the right side. Oh, I hope these kids don't get killed. See that American? Just go give him a hug. Go, run! Let's go! Just go and shoot anybody who looks different to us. Okay. Okay. Ah! Yeah, that's the jacket on. Don't put that so jacket on. So they know not to shoot you. We must kill everything that we see. For Hitler! <laughs> Die, devil, stop! Jeez. So many kids. Oh, he's got his uniform on. This voice. Yeah, hi, buddy. What did they do with all the kids once they took over the city? How did they determine, like, which German people were, like, trying to help? Like, what would the mom have been doing if she was alive? Would she have been fighting with them? The mom was so close to making it. I feel like probably a lot of the killing took place right at the end when everybody, all the Nazis, got really desperate. Just before it was over. Hey! Hey! Amos! What? Take off the jacket, kid. What's happening? We've come to the end. Party's over. Don't be scared. Look at me. Now go home, look after that sister of yours. Get away. Get away! What's going on? The Jew! He's doing it to save him. Get away, hey. Jew. Hey. Shut your mouth, Nancy. No. Go home! No. See, he was a good one. Get out of here. Go home! I'm good. I guess he probably had done stuff too, because he had to, to stay safe. You okay? Thank God, I thought you were dead. Seems like I can never die. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and see my mother. I need to cuddle. <laughs> now the war's over, at least your girlfriend will be free. She can leave now. Yeah, you should go check on her. Maybe she left already. Hi, I'm home. What's going on out there? Yeah, I guess she's probably scared. She doesn't know what's going on. Georgia, what's going on? Is it safe to come out? He probably doesn't want her to go, then he'll be alone. Can I leave? No. You have to stay here. Who went? We did. We, like, him and her? Only on the wall. Uh, he's not gonna keep her thinking that. I'm, I'm sorry. Tell her the truth, buddy. He knows he was wrong. No. Let her out. Dear Elsa, me and your good friend Giorgio have devised a plan for you to escape. He's gonna help you get out of there. And then you can come live with me in Paris. And don't worry about Giorgio. See you in Paris, Nathan. He's such a sweetheart. He's dead. Nathan, he died last year. Tuberculosis. Well, it's weird. <laughs> Thank you, Giorgio. You've been so good to me. Well, the thing is, I love you. Oh. I know you think of me as a younger brother, but, uh, well, it's quite hot in here. <laughs> oh. I have you too. As a younger brother? Yes, yeah, a younger brother. Me and Fake Nathan have found a way for you to escape. Get your things together. We're leaving. Chop chop, Betzler. Today, you are a man. Just do what you can. Where in the shit do you think you're going? Oh, Frank. You're in love with her, aren't you? Yes. You admit it. I just said yes. <laughs> I knew it. It's never going to work out. It's got the hole in his head. No, she's too old for you, and you're ugly. <laughs> no, she's going to leave you. You know that, don't you? Tell him to shut up. Put it on, and then we're going to pretend none of this ever happened. You got it? Tell him to shove it. Uh, Hail me? <laughs> Come on, for old time's sake. Got it, <laughs> <laughs> in the balls out the window. Good for you, buddy. Come on. Oh, wait. Oh. Ready? Just like it. Yeah. Is it dangerous out there? I wonder how long it's been since she's been outside. Extremely. 
Just like his mom. We made it. Except for lying? Probably deserved that. What do we do now? Okay guys, that was Jojo Rabbit, and that was so good. Hilarious and devastating, shocking, like beautiful, and it, it, it was so many things. This movie's very interesting. I thought the kid in the movie, the main kid, was awesome. I was very, very impressed with him. He handled all the different tones of this movie so perfectly. I also thought Scarlet was awesome. Her death is devastating in this. This movie is about World War II in Germany, seen through a child's eyes, and you really see how the propaganda brain washing of the time affected the kids. You can't hold a child responsible the same way that you can hold an adult responsible for their own actions. Like they said in there, they're not bad kids, they're just, they want to be in a club through the eyes of a kid. Hitler and the Nazis were celebrities. It's just so crazy to think about. This movie, I'm sure, could be taken offensively for some people, and I get it. Like I said in the movie, like, you feel bad because you're like laughing at jokes about Hitler and like, it's not something to make light of, it really isn't. However, in the context of this movie, it is seen through a child's eyes. It's given that lightness because that's how a kid sees it. It's maybe one of the only scenarios where this kind of humor could be okay to laugh along with because it is through a kid's eyes and it's got that innocence. He doesn't understand what's really going on. It's all in the writing too. It's very interesting how they were able to make this really funny. This is a really funny movie, which is crazy. It's just crazy that this movie is so funny, but it's also heartbreaking. Over the course of the movie, the more serious and more serious. In the end, kid gets it and we get it. Innocence from the beginning of the movie is not there anymore. We follow this kid on his journey of realization. This movie was great. I really loved it. It was beautiful too. There's such vibrant colors, like it's for a child's eyes. Everything is colorful and it's like imagination. Elsa was also very good. I think it would be easy to write a character like Elsa just getting mad at the kid and just saying, no, you're wrong. But she was patient with him, poking fun at him, but slowly wearing him down and humanizing her to him. I really love the way that that character was written because it just shows you that like arguing with someone just doesn't really work most of the time. Uh, let's meet halfway or I'll meet you where you are and be kind kind of approach. Humanize the other point of view to them. That's the way you really change someone's mind. I really loved it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too and I will see you next time. Bye guys.